This video is a brief introduction to how to use the System Advisor model from National Renewable Energy Lab and the U.S. Department of Energy. So this is the screen that happens when you open up, uh, we can call it SAM. So we're just going to talk about photovoltaics here. So we can enter a new project and we can be, we can do PV tutorial. So photovoltaic tutorial. And let's create a new file. So in another video I described PV watts. So if we click on photovoltaics, we see PV watts. So we can use that system model. And we're just going to do that um, for simplicity. If you really get down into being a, a complex PV designer, you might want to use the component-based models. But those are much more specific than we need. So let's use PV watts again. And we can select financing options. So really we're not going to look at the, um, these too much, but uh, we, just, we need to select one just so it gives us uh, some output. So let's select residential. And let's hit OK. Okay, so we can change a bunch of stuff in um, in System Advisor model. The climate, so right now it's Arizona. Let's pick uh, Wilmington, Delaware, as usual. So let's find that on the list. Click it again. D Wilmington is the only uh, city. Uh, we can look at the weather hourly weather data if we want to, but we don't really want to. And we w really want to change some things in here if we wanted to. Again, just like PV Watts has online, you can force the tilt to equal the latitude, and uh, it'll do the latitude of Wilmington, which is 39.7. Change the nameplate capacity and the D rate factor and the azimuth. Um, and again, we can have one axis or two axis tracking. So there's more details here. But what's really nice about this is what's different that PV Watts in the online mode is that we can uh, run all the simulations, and let's do that. Um, and then we get graphical output. Um, these are more financial analyses that comes up automatically, but what's cool is that now we can do the monthly output, the monthly energy output. And so we can see the monthly energy output in a bar graph case. So let's look at this for a second and just see the general trend. And let me show you, if we change the tilt, how this general trend changes. So this is for latitude tilt. Now let's go to zero tilt. So again, the first one was latitude tilt, and this is zero tilt. So zero tilt, what happens is it skews the output uh, to the summer, and the winter months are less. You can think about this because the sun is lower in the sky in the winter, and so the PV module doesn't capture as much as of that because it's flat. So now let's go to the other end of the spectrum, and let's put in 90 for the tilt. So 90 skews it. Uh, more towards the uh, winter months because it's perfectly perpendicular to the ground, and that what that means is that you get more sun when the uh, you get more light into the panel when the sun's lower in the sky, which happens in the winter. So let's look at a couple more things that we can we can see. Uh, one thing that I like to look at is the um, time series. So if we look at this, there's a lot of stuff here. But uh, what I like to look at is the DC output in kilowatt hours. So we can click that here. And I like to look at, um, instead of this kind of stuff, I like to look at uh, the heat map. And so the heat map, you can choose a bunch of different things. We're going to do DC output. OK, so this is how you can read this. This is the hour of the day on here. And this is the month at the bottom. So the brighter colors are higher output. Um, and so you can see that um, the brighter colors occur in the winter months in this case. And it's going to be different as if we, if we change the tilt of the panel. So it's pretty cool because you can get a really good picture of what's going on, not only the hours of the day, but the months of the year right away. And the other thing you can do uh, with this is we can do a time series and then DC output. So this is a time series of every hour of the year. So uh, what's nice about this is it's really, really, really easy to save this data. We want to send the data to Excel, because we're going to use Excel in some parts of this class. And when we do that, a new sheet opens up in Excel, and it writes hours since January 1st, gives you all the hours, and then it gives you the how many kilowatt hours are output. 
So it goes all the way down because there's 8,760 hours in a year. So it goes all the way down and gives you those uh, kilowatt hours. So it's a great, 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 great tool to use uh, if you want to see um, an hourly thing. And basically, if you want to do an hourly analysis instead of a month analysis, this is where you want to start with. Th that was the short introduction to System Advisor model and performing some photo easy photovoltaic calculations. Thanks for listening.